Good morning, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nicole. If you're new here, it is Sunday. It is normally my day where I set myself up for the week. I sort out my meals. Um, I'll be probably doing a bit of grocery shopping today. If you can hear a little voice in the background, me on work playing the game in the lounge room. Okay, I have just done some curried egg for, I might do it for lunch just today. It's not too much in there, not everybody likes it. So, and it's the 30th of April. So I've just done that up. I've boiled up some eggs for lunches. I haven't peeled these yet, I should peel them. Normally I peel them, put them in little Ziploc bags with some salt in a container and they're ready to grab and go. And then down here I have just done this, it's about 1.2 kilos of chicken breast. I've just chopped them up and made some schnitzels, so that'll be for tonight's dinner. We we're supposed to be going more chopping today, but something's wrong with the chainsaw, so that ain't going to happen. I've got a load of washing in at the moment. I've actually got all my tea towels and aprons in here. I've given them a good soak in some, what do we got? Just some sad stuff. So you can see the color of the water, how much stuff it's got out of them. So they're gonna be nice and clean. I've got hubby and one of my boys out the back there. So that's my passion fruit plant and it's already got wire either side of it. But I've just told hubby that I want him to put wire around that whole bottom of that trampoline, leaving an open bit obviously, so I can get the chooks in and out of it because right where it is in the middle of the yard, I actually want to get a veggie garden going there once it's spring, but I need the chooks to get in there and dig it up and eat everything and poop all through there and get it all... Um, that's how he's measuring the measuring how long it is gonna be. Um, yeah, just get all the soil prepped because we had a pool here before, so it's all just sand. It's never really had any nutrients or anything in the soil, so I need to just get it all prepped for when it turns to spring. I've just vacuumed my room and cleaned my room. I've got two loads of washing here. I'm about to hang up. So I've got this clothes rack here. I've just moved from along the window and I'm going to fill it up and put it out the back because it's a pretty good day today. So I can get it all dry out there and then the rest of the pants and stuff I'm just going to put on one of the areas here. It's 10 to 10 and I'm just starting to get a bit hungry so I'm going to make some brekkie. I've just got one of these out for the young bloke. He loves oats and stuff. And I've just chopped up some onion, capsicum, zucchini and tomato. I'm just going to cook this up. I've just sprayed my little pan with a little bit of avocado oil spray. And then I'll just do two eggs. Uh, just like fry them with a bit of the spray again and just put it on top of these veggies. It's absolutely delicious. I've only got five eggs at the moment. I've got to go check them because I had them in a separate pan yesterday. So they didn't lay in there, but says I'll put them back in the pen, they'll all run them for the nest box. So I'm gonna use four of these now, and then I'll go check the eggs after. So this is what my brekkie looks like. So I need to get some banana bread mix or something like that, so I can use up all these bananas. So I just remembered that I had bought these butter cake mixes. I might get a few more, because I do have quite a lot of bananas there. Okay, so I've just written down everything that I've got meat-wise, meal-wise in this freezer. Now that it's up and going again, I've just sort of moved all the meat into here. Um, so I've got leftover things that are cooked already. So I've got a little bit of apricot chicken, there's about two serves in there, and a pork curry, which if I do rice and some veggies on the side, will be enough for everybody. So that's what I've got left. I've got two big rump steaks, two little porterhouse steaks, a box of crumbed fish, Beef, uh, the beef burgers, eight of those that I bought from Woolies the other day. I've got six four quarter chops, six Wagyu beef sausages, they are so beautiful, them ones from Aldi. Six normal barbecue sausages, I've got eight salmon fillets and I've got 1.4 kilos of chicken breast in there as well still. Okay, so I'm going to go to Aldi first, 
there makes a pretty good price. I'm going to go there and check out what they've got. And um, I'm going to go to Spud Shed. I don't know whether I should go there first. Um, just veggie wise, I don't know what Spud Shed's going to have. I might go to Spud Shed first because I don't buy meat from there anyway. I think I'll do Spud Shed. I'm going to go Spudshed, Coles and Aldi. Um, I don't necessarily need to go Coles today, but I've got a card, gift card I can use, so I wanted to get a couple of their big chooks that they have. They're about five bucks a kilo and they're really big and so much meat on them, so um, I think I'm just going to go Spudshed first. <laughs> Sorry, you know me, I can never make up my mind. Okay, I'm back from the Spudshed. I ran into Woolworths too and grabbed some up and goes there half price this week they didn't have the normal ones in strawberry so bummer but yeah they're good for hubby um i'll scan them and see what they are on weight watchers again i think they're about six points for one side by the that's something else for brecky but yeah i like him to have some of those for work but if they had big potatoes they're a dollar fifty kilo so i thought we could do some stuff spuds one night or even just for mash or not really fast. I need bacon though to do them. So I uh, got some of this. This was new to the Spud Shed Cajun Smoked Salt. I thought that sounded really nice. It'd be nice to make some wedges. We could even do that with those. Um, or just to sprinkle on some sweet potato chips when I make them as well. I just dropped my young bloke off at school and I just called into the spud shed to see if they had any chicken carcasses or things for the, to make some stock. Everyone's sick, I'm sick, hubby's home from work. I only younger two that aren't sick yet. So they had this big box of seven kilos of chicken frames for 12 bucks. So I've just filled up my big pot and I'm just gonna get some soup stock going. So we can just, yeah, make whatever soup or just even just have the broth, makes you feel good. This is a continuation on from the bit of footage you've just seen. It is Sunday and it's pretty much the same as um, the footage you've just seen was actually taken on the 1st of May and today is the 21st. Um, yeah, not really much different if you look in the house. We've just been doing washing all day so that's full. Um, that one is put clothes on and the one over there as well. Just normal washing day. I haven't really organized meals as such. We've been sick all week this week. It was like COVID, but look, not COVID. Um, still not 100%. Um, hubby was really bad. There was one point where I was actually gonna call an ambulance for him at night time because he just couldn't breathe very well. It was a bit scary. And young bloke, he's been off since Thursday. He's been pretty quick as well. I ended up taking him to the doctor's Friday afternoon and he had to get some steroids for his chest. Um, hubby was on antibiotics. Mine didn't go into my chest. Hubby's asthmatic so if anything kind of flu like gets him it goes straight to his chest all the time. Um, but mine was just, yeah, it was so much like COVID like I had the headaches. Um, the first symptom I have for it was actually the Monday I was at work. I just had a real itchy nose. Um, I had a bit of a sore throat too, looking back in hindsight, but I just kept thinking it was heartburn and obviously it wasn't. So I had a bit of a sore throat, a bit of a cough. Um, yeah, just felt like shit basically. Um, the older boys have had it. One of the older boys actually brought it home from work. And now, the other older boys got it, they work together, so they pretty much share cooties, they get picked up and they all go in the same car to work and stuff. So tomorrow will be, yeah, pretty much a week that we've been crook. Sorry, I saw a massive bird flying to a tree, I was thinking, what is that? Um, so yeah, sorry squirrel. So I haven't really planned much as far as the menu goes. I've looked at the weather for the week and that's about it. Um, got some steak in the fridge. Hubby's not hungry. We went out before and went to Chemist Warehouse 
got a few things and on the way back just got him and the young bloke a pack thing from KFC so hubby already said an hour ago I'm not, not hungry for dinner um, and last night I did beautiful cheeseburgers oh, I want to show you something that I got from Audi that was so good I made it burgers they had this cheeseburger sauce and it is so good so yeah last night I cooked the beef burgers the ones from Woolies that I was going about that I think they're in the grocery hall I don't know if it was part of this video or the one before sorry it doesn't look appetizing because all these burgers are on this plate but once they're cooked I just put some cheese on top and let it melt a little bit I actually nuked them and I put some um, garlic granules in some real butter toasted the buns put the garlic butter on the bottom and then just did the beef burger and just some sauce just kept it really simple and yeah they were really good everyone loved those so i just showed you then i've got two left over so the older boys if they're hungry they can have that for dinner young bloke like i said he had um kfc my daughter's at her friend's house so she's having dinner over there so i'll just make myself something later just maybe even have some soup or something but i'll show you what we got from chemist warehouse while we were out I needed some new eyeliner and I've got one at the moment um, that's really quite good but it's plastic and you've got to sharpen the plastic and it's really stupid. So that's the only thing I don't like about it where this one is a wind up one and they had half price off this and it says doesn't need sharpening so and I have had this one before it didn't seem to last a real long time hence buying two. Uh, but they were on special for $7.99 each and I got myself another mascara too it's called Sky High and it's just a very black um, shade I guess and it's waterproof yeah and I haven't tried this one before so hopefully it's good and I just got some of these dental flosses they were $3.50 a packet I remember buying some of these from Aldi and they were really crap. Like every time you put that bit in between your teeth it would pretty much just break. Sort of from one side so don't buy them from Aldi. You might think they're good and they're cheaper but yeah. Definitely get your, what you pay for with those from there. And I saw these, they were three bucks. The five toothbrushes and they've even got the little plastic bits on the side that are really good for your gums and stuff. So I thought that was a really good price. I've actually picked up those because we have just booked another holiday uh, for towards the end of the year. So I said to Harvey, that's enough for each of us to take on holiday. So that's good. And yeah, like I said, I've just been tidying up, just vacuumed the whole floors and we've just been getting all the uniforms washed and ready for the week. But looking forward to going back to work. I ended up having Tuesday to Friday off, so my pay was pretty sad. Um, hubby also had Tuesday to Friday off as well, but obviously he's full time, so he can get a doctor's note and he also get paid for it. Um, yeah, so, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Young bloke's still crook. I might get my daughter to stay home tomorrow. She'd love that day of school. I might get her to stay home with him, and I've just been giving him some vitamin C's, and he's eating been eating a little bit today so that's good he really didn't eat a lot at all since he was sick so hasn't been good and yesterday one of my friends messaged me she lives uh, about a 20 minute drive from where we are and um, a bloke on her local community things Facebook page was looking for some honey so I joined the page and um, messaged him and I ended up putting a post up saying, you know, I'm coming down. Oh, and that was Friday. Because I'd put the post up and said, you know, I'll be coming down the Saturday at 11am. If anyone else wants some, please PM me. And my friend wanted like six. So I ended up selling 12 tubs of honey all up. So it was really good. My friend only ended up getting four. I'm going to take her some more down next weekend. Um, and yeah, I'm going to be selling some more next weekend as well. So... Looking forward to that. I've got 
God. Quite a few tubs. I can't even think how many it was. Hubby worked it out for me, but yeah, so looking forward to just getting rid of all those. Okay, I'm going to leave the vlog here. I'm actually going to go lay down for a little bit. My head's hurting a little bit. So I'm going to chill for a bit. It's like 5 o'clock. And then, yeah, make something little for dinner after, if I feel like it. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye.